Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Intimus. Today, I thought it'd be really fun to go through and rank slash review, talk about all of the eyeshadow palettes from Sydney Grace. They have five different palettes unless you include the palettes they've done that were a light and a deep version, then technically they have seven palettes, but I have the light versions of both. I thought I would just swatch them all out, give you my opinions overall, and hopefully this video will be helpful for you. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Amy, and I love to focus specifically on creating content all around indie makeup. So if that sounds like content you would enjoy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys Wait, no. I almost said I'll see you guys in the next one. We haven't even started. Let's jump in. So the palette coming into fifth place today is going to be the Autumn's Rain palette, and this was actually the first palette that they released. I wanna say it was Black Friday of 2018, and I bought it the moment that it launched. I was really excited to see that they were branching into palettes because I had a bunch of single shadows from them that I really liked, and I think the packaging is super, super cute. This one has more of like a jewel-toned color story. There's like pops of warm tones, pops of cool tones, a bunch of neutrals, and I feel like overall this color story has never really spoke to me. Like I liked it at first, but I think that might have just been the hype of like getting a new palette. For me, like looking at it, I see pops of it that I like, but overall it's just not a favorite color story for me. I actually saw comparisons of this to the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop palette, and the color stories looked very, very similar to me, which helped me talk myself out of buying the ColourPop one because I was like, if I already struggle to use this one, why would I get another one with a similar color story that I'll probably struggle to use as well? I feel like for these mattes, you have to set down your eyeshadow primer first. I normally would always go in with this Queen of the North shade, which helps them blend a little bit more, but the shimmers in here are super, super metallic. I think one of the things about this as well that kind of kept me from using it as much is that almost all the shimmers here are darker shades. It just wasn't exactly my personal preference, and this one was super easy to place into fifth place because I just barely ever reached for it. So let's just go ahead and do some quick swatches where here we've got the time we may as well right so we've got queen of the north i'm so sorry about my nails i should have thought about that before i decided to do a whole video swatching things but queen of the north is just a very very light pale not exactly white it's like a cream shade very similar to my skin tone we have the shade palace which is a soft rosy peach and then supreme heart which is an orange I'm really curious to feel these mattes and how they feel, even that one that was like a little bit patchy. So I'm curious to feel these compared to their newer ones because I really love their newer mattes. We have Nature's Crown, which is like a, mm, it's a tan. Ooh, that didn't wipe off very well. We have Golden Wheat, which is a neutral brown, and then Amber Jewels, which is a really beautiful red. Okay, we've got Magnificent Chestnut, which is a bronzy brown golden shade. That actually looks really pretty to me right now. We have Golden Scepter, which is that bright gold. We have Wondrous Night, which is that taupey silver. Like I said, I feel like individually when I look at these shades, I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty, but it's just all together when I feel a little lost. We have Majestic Breeze, which is a really, really dark navy green and then we have countess which is a soft purple mauve and then a plum called brilliant realm which if you're curious about my makeup look today i did do like a full face of sydney grace that should be up on my channel hopefully soon there's what those look like see even that that's just not swatching that great all right last but not least we have sovereign rain which is that deep metallic purple fallen splendor deep green and then Moonlit Kingdom, which is a really deep blue. I mean, those look beautiful together. So there is the entire Autumn's Rain palette. Again, like I said, that one is in fifth place for me. Okay, so next, the palette coming into fourth place, I think will surprise y'all because it surprised me a little bit. 
it's still really, really great quality. I just, I thought I was gonna love it more and it ended up not being completely my personal preference. I would make some different tweaks to it. So this is the Chase Your Dreams palette and this was one of the palettes they came out with this summer. So it is a really cute little nine pan palette and it's definitely more colorful than a lot of the other palettes that they have and they've offered so far. There's different pops of orange, there's purple, and that's what drew me to this palette. I was like, oh, I'm gonna really, really like this one because it's more colorful. But overall, again, with like a lot of the shimmers being a little bit more dark, a little bit more rich, I really like having the balance of having light shimmers and even the mattes, like there's only this like orange and then this orange as far as like lighter mid-tone mattes go. And then you have a really nice deep black. Well, it's more of like a deep charcoal gray, but almost black. It basically looks black on the eyes, it's fine. But I feel like between these two, I wish that there had been a little bit more of a difference, especially with having like the purples and the pinks in the palette. That's why it's ranked in fourth place for me, but the shimmers in here are absolutely stunning, so foiled and just gorgeous. I also really like that this is all like inspirational names. So this first shade here is called The Dream and it is a super metallic foiled gold. I mean, look at that. We have Aspire, which is a like very pinky shade, again, very foiled. And then Be Bold, which is an orange matte. If you're not ready, look at that shade. Wow. Such a pretty gold. Okay, next we have The Chase, which is more of like a metallic burgundy. And I mean, again, look at that. Look at the foiledness of that shade. It's just beyond. Is that hair? How is there hair here? We have the shade You Can. That one feels a little bit softer and it's a little bit more brown, a little bit less orange than the other one. But again, I feel like they're a little bit too similar. And then we have Don't Quit, which is a satin purple. Look at that shade. I can't. And then lastly, we have the Drive, which is such a beautiful, bright purple. I mean, it's pretty metallic, but I just really love like the vibrancy of that one. We have Your Best, which is a really pretty smoky shade. I mean, it like has like this taupey purpliness to it. I feel like it would make a beautiful smoky eye, even though it's not like the kind of tone that I would reach for the absolute most. And then lastly is Enjoy the Journey, which feels so smooth. So there's what Chase Your Dreams looks like. And honestly, if you love this color story, if these are your tones, the quality is really good. This is just ranking based on personal preference. Okay, so coming into third place, I went ahead and chose the Summer Days palette. Again, this was a cute little nine pan palette that was part of their summer collection this past summer. And I do really, really like this one, I really do. It's one of the best neutral palettes that I have from an indie brand. It's just that the other two palettes I have to mention coming up are absolutely fantastic as well, which makes this hard to rank, but I really, really love and recommend this palette. I do have the light version. They have a deep version as well, which I can leave on screen really quickly so you can just see what it looks like. And I believe that there's just a few shades, like the mattes, and then I think this one right here called Bask is different in the deep palette. So this one I really love because the shimmers in here are stunning, especially the shade S'mores and Camping, they are so, so foiled, which just makes my heart happy. The mattes blend really well. A lot of them have like this really stunning rosy tone. I feel like this doesn't pull super cool. It doesn't pull super warm. It's just like right in the middle and it's just like such a beautiful neutral smoky eye overall. I love that there's some lighter tones, some mid tones, some deeper tones, and I just feel like any neutral look that I wanted to do, I could do with this and it's just, nine pans, really great quality, so easy to blend. So this has been a favorite for me. So first we have the shade Basque, which is a really beautiful soft gold. We have Sandcastle, which is a very light rosy brown. We have Break of Day, which this one is a little bit warmer. So there's what those look like. And I hope you can see just how smooth those mattes are because they are 
everything. Okay, we have Daybreak, which is more of like a taupey matte. And then we have Beach Days, which is a really nice mid-tone neutral brown. Cherry Picking, which is a really nice deep neutral brown. So there's what those look like again, the smoothness. <laughs> We have Blood Orange, which has like a little bit more of like a plumminess to it. It is a very soft satin. You can use it in your crease, honestly, and then s'mores. Oh my gosh, you're not ready. Look at that shade. It's just everything. And then Camping is a little bit more bronzy, but again, really stunning. Oh my goodness. Every time, like makes my heart flutter. They're just so so beautiful so that is the entire summer days palette ranked in third place i'm gonna need you guys to pause and comment and let me know if you think that the tiny marvels palette or the enduring love palette is going to be in first place i'm just curious if you guys are going to be able to guess it because i've raved about these both quite a lot have you commented are you ready I'm gonna just give you a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going with my heart here. Coming into second place is going to be the Mel Thompson Tiny Marvels palette. I love this one. I love it, love it, love it. I really do, but I just love Enduring Love even more, and I feel like this just brought a whole new level of happiness and just inspiration into my makeup style, so I just have to do that one as first place but we'll give Tiny Marvels this moment. It really does stand out to me because I love the color story. I feel like it perfectly matches my makeup style because some days I really do wanna go super colorful and some days I wanna go super, super soft and I feel like this just gives me so many looks. I also feel like it's just very unique. The other day I did a video where I was guessing the palette based on shadows and the moment I saw swatches of this one, I was like, oh, I know what that is because it really is truly unique and i'm just so so happy that i have it i feel like the foiled shadows in here again are above and beyond this one fire butts is one of my favorites there's this one which is actually um, an existing shadow in their line i can't remember the other name but it's a really beautiful duochrome there's this goldy green this rose gold this like um rosy taupe i just feel like the options in here are beautiful and I love using this palette. I actually did a Christmas look the other day just playing around where I used this green in the crease and then this green all over the lid and I really, really loved how that turned out. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so first we have Web, which I love this one. I love a really shimmery white shade. I love using this on the inner corner, the brow bone as highlighter. We have Tree Hopper, which is like a yellowy tan shade. Fire Butts, which is literally the most beautiful olive silver it's just one of the prettiest shadows i've ever owned honestly oh my goodness i just love that shade we have the shade walk and stick which i really like because it's more of like a grungy brown swatching it it feels a little bit less powdery but it's a really really cool color we have Scarab, which like I said, is that beautiful duochrome. It's like your classic blue-brown shift. And then Flutterby, which is a really beautiful, soft kind of picky peach, which I really like using that one as a blush as well. Okay, we have BB, which is that beautiful, super bright yellowy gold. I don't know why I said green before. I don't know what I was seeing, but it's very, very vibrant. We have Mantis, which I love that there's pops of pastels in here. I think it's so fun and they're so wearable in here. It's not just like a full pastel palette, but it just has a little something, something. So I really like that one. We have Meadow Hawk, which is stunning. I feel like you can really use that with the neutrals or the colors to kind of make the most out of it, but it's a beautiful shade. Look at that. Those shimmers, I just, I can't. And the thing is that they're not like super sparkly because a lot of my favorite shimmers are sparkly. They're just very, very metallic and foiled, which they're done so well here. I can't help but love them. We have Love Bug, which is like a nice kind of purpley mauve. Jewel B, which is a pastel lavender purple. Love those kind of tones. Wearing that on the eyes today. And then I have Marvel here, which... Again, 
really, really stunning. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> okay, that purple did not swatch as well. I feel like even on the lid, like I build it up a little bit, but it can be built up. Okay, last but not least, we have the shade Death Moth, which is another really beautiful, grungy, kind of cool toned brown. Bugaboo, which is a plummy shade, and then Spider, which is a deeper brown. Which again, look at how smooth those are. So that is the entire Tiny Marvels palette. It's been a favorite of mine and I just can't help but rank it a number two. I just wanted to say a specific congratulations to Mel because you did a fabulous job on this palette. I feel like I look like I have so much blush on all of a sudden, but I think it's just because it's getting really, really hot underneath these lights. This is the third video I've filmed today, just trying to play a little bit of catch up. But obviously coming into first place is the Enduring Love palette. I have the light version and this palette just took me by surprise because when I first saw it releasing, I was like, mm, don't really love the color story, don't really see it, don't wanna buy it, and I didn't. I didn't buy it when it launched. I ended up getting it months later during a sale when I was like, mm, I wanna get this other thing for free. I was getting one of those new, the summer palettes for free because it was like, if you spend $50, you get that one along with your order, which is why I bought this in the first place. Like I was, it was honestly a terrible thing. Like normally when you buy stuff like that, you don't end up using it or liking it because it's like, oh, I'm just getting it because of this sale rather than something I truly want. But this was such a surprise for me because ever since I started using it, I cannot stop. I love this palette so, so much. And I try to think about what it is that makes this palette so special to me. I think it's because there's so many good solid matte shades here that just work perfectly. You can go cool toned, neutral, a little bit more warm and rosy. There's some pops of color, which I haven't dove into as much, but when I do use them, they're fun. I really love this row here because there's a beautiful satin pink, which I use as highlighter on the inner corner, on the brow bone. Like I'm for sure probably gonna hit pan in that in 2021. I love the silver shade here. And then there's this one here, which is like a gold, but it's like a really, really muted silvery gold, if that even makes any sense. So I like that it's just something different and it, that, that shade is so, so metallic and beautiful. This shade here, Devotion, is stunning as well. And then there's like this one, which is a little bit more like an army, olive shimmer. They're just all really, really beautiful, high quality. And this just got me into cool tones. I know your makeup style changes over time and all that, but I just feel really confident when I'm wearing cool tones like these. Um, it's almost like the equivalent of a feeling of empowerment when you put on a red lipstick and you're like, yes, this day is mine. Like, I got this. Like, I'm going to do what I have to do. That's almost how cool toned eyeshadows make me feel, which is hard to explain. I don't even know. I don't even know. It, it's just, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So that's one of the reasons why I love this palette. And because of it, I've bought a few more cool toned palettes to kind of like round out the shades that I want. I did like a... Um, a BYOP cool tone shadows because I was inspired so I've just really really been enjoying this one and the inspiration that it brought into my life is what I'm saying so let's go ahead and swatch it I think it's cute that these shades are named in couples so you've got a couple here a couple here 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 and then the middle are devotion passion and cherish which I thought was a cute concept because it's enduring love I don't know who thought Romeo and Juliet was enduring love I think we need to have a conversation. Here is Romeo, which is such a beautiful soft satin pink. We have Juliet, which is a really beautiful soft rosy shade. And then we have the shade Devotion, which is another one of their really, really foiled shades. Ooh, I picked up a lot of that on accident, but I'll just kind of blend that out a little bit. See how pretty that is? All right, next we have Darcy and Elizabeth. And honestly, I watched the Pride and Prejudice, the one, gosh, what was it? What's his face? He's really cute. <laughs> the one that was like 10 hours long. 
And I was like, mm, I don't know about this. Just because I was curious, I never read the novel or anything. And I was like, okay, I guess I see it a little bit. But then I watched the one that was like three hours long with the girl. She did, she did Anna Kanin, 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 something. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now, but I liked the story more. Of course, then you've got the um, the after movies, the fan fiction one. Well, I read the books too that were like Harry Styles inspired, but also Pride and Prejudice, and that was a hot mess. But anyways, I think these colors do go together well. <laughs> so that is the first row, which is really, really rosy and pretty and just stunning. Oh, I forgot to mention I really like using um, Juliet as a blush. Okay, next we have the shade Albert and Victoria. So Albert is a really beautiful silver and Victoria is a really beautiful, cool toned, just soft, taupey shade. And then we have Passion, which is a soft gray. Next we have Boaz, which is a gray and then Ruth which is a really stunning deep smoky blue it just has such a stunning look to it it actually reminds me um of the bridesmaid dresses that my mom's wedding had I mean I wasn't there but I saw pictures <laughs> okay next we have John which is definitely one of my favorite shades in the palette I mean look at that we have Abigail which is definitely more of a satin I mean, it's just not anywhere near as metallic as the other shades. And then we have Cherish, which is like a neutral matte brown. Robert, which is a little bit of a darker matte brown. And this one feels a little bit harder pressed. I feel like I do dig into that one a little bit more, but I feel like it overall gives me like a very soft look and I can build it up if I need to. And then we have Deanna, which is that like olive -y tone so there's the palette overall and it's funny because watching it out right now like some of the transition shades do look a little bit similar but it just works so well for me in like everyday life and just wanting to reach for this palette all the time so I really really love it I feel like it's unique it inspires me makes me happy brings me joy when I'm using it so what more could you want out of a palette all right, that was everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.